Welcome back. This is Andrew Cohen with the Legacy Hour. Welcome back to your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Thank you for being with us this morning. We are here with my friend and colleague, Ryan Moore. Ryan works for, I believe I forgot to mention there. Uh, Northwestern Mutual, North Los West Angeles, yeah. Right, here in Los Angeles. How could folks reach you if they have any questions? Uh, so I have uh, email, ryan.b.more at nm.com. We just shortened that recently, so that's great. Okay. Uh, phone, 661-607-4951. Um, Snail mail, not so much. Twitter, I have a Twitter feed. It's Ryan underscore B underscore more. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's great. If anyone has any questions, feel free to give Ryan a call. He deals with not only life insurance, which, again, some folks may be a little bit afraid of from time to time, but he deals with all aspects of financial planning and who really works with you to analyze, go through it, show you what's needed, what's not needed, and what's right for you. And I think that's why Ryan and I have such a strong connection because that is a core tenant of my practice, what is right for people. Not everyone just fits in a, a, a checkbox and does it. Everyone is unique. One family might have 90% of the same stuff, 100% of the same stuff as another family, but there's still difference in the way that, that things are built. And, and you know, that goes to the thought you were going to finish earlier, right? With no planning, for me, it's important to plan for Tanya, Jameson, and Briggs, and everybody's different. Right. right. Everybody deserves a plan, no matter what. Right, you see that new little baby. When yeah. my first son was born, he's nine and a half. And I remember sitting there in the middle of the night looking at him saying, what am I gonna do now? Mm -hmm. And talking about so many, in my mind, that question involves everything, his future. I don't, I don't even know how to change a diaper. It took me 20 plus minutes to actually do the first diaper change correctly in the hospital. Everyone laughing at me. And it was great, a wonderful moment, memory in my life. Right. Because I didn't have it tight enough and it was slipping, it was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> So, I you know, I can't imagine. even do that. Yeah. How am I going to take care of these Absolutely. guys? Absolutely. No, so, and I've got, you know, I've got two boys that I've mentioned before. They're, they're nine and, and seven. They're going to be in second and fourth grade. And I'm very blessed. My wife and I are having, well, my wife is having a, we're having a baby next week. Week very from exciting. yesterday, we're having a little girl. Congratulations. She does not have a name yet. If uh, Angela, my mother-in-law, is listening, we honestly don't have it picked out yet. That's no planning. <laughs> No planning Just there, kidding. but we'll be good. That's that's our family tradition. So uh, on the no planning front, it's it's really important if, if people don't have a plan in place. And it's and it's not just for death that we're talking about, but incapacity or you're just getting, you know, you can't take care of your, yourself anymore. You'll get what the California government gives you. That is your plan. So all of us do have a plan. It's just I would argue not a very good one and not one that most people would want. I, you know, whether, whether you agree with what's going on in Congress, in state government, it, it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't matter what side of the fence you fall on because the plan's in place. Right. And if you do nothing, you get what their plan is. Right. If you do nothing, it'll typically cost you in the long run, I would, I would say, more than doing some planning now. You do it now. If you have no planning, and it's... A lot of people think that I don't have enough to do planning. For instance, look at James Gandolfini, right? Everybody's right. aware of what happened. He's 51 years old. In, in my world, we would have all thought he had tons of people around him planning. Right. He's well, here's an example of someone with a lot of stuff. And he's got a lot of stuff, but he didn't have a plan. And right. so now, whether you have 70 million or 70,000, it doesn't really matter because the plan is now New York State and the federal government stepping in to decide right. what he, the plan is. He had no plan what the... Uh, rumors are of his estate, and this takes, you know, this will play out over time. But he was worth approximately $70 million. Mm -hmm. The coupon that you get from the federal government is worth $5 million. So you pay, you're allowed to say, all right, part of that $75 million, no taxes on. The bulk of his estate is subject to a huge a state tax hit to the IRS. Approximately 55% of death taxes. And that's that's a real word. It costs yeah. money to die in this country. It, it does. That's a lot. He had no planning. That's going to go to him. And it's you pay for it in terms of death taxes. If you don't do it right, you'll have capital gain taxes that can be avoided. Who knows where everything's going? If he doesn't have trust set up for his kids, lack of planning. What I think is important, let's move away from someone, a wealthy someone that's famous. Let's move away to just regular, everyday people. Right. People that I talk to all the time. People think, oh, I don't have that much. But if you own a house, even if you don't own a house, if you have life insurance or not, if you have some assets, 
I mean, I, I can tell you, I, in my business, you're very fortunate if you never have to deliver a death claim. So about seven weeks ago, I had to deliver a death check to a woman who lived over in Granada Hills. Her husband passed away at 51. She's 49. It's not enough because they own a house. In California, we all know what that means. She owes about 390000 The daughters want to go to college next year, and I'm giving them... You know, a check for five hundred thousand dollars. So they did some planning, right? But they lost they the they lost the, the income. They lost the income, and so they didn't even have access to the husband's E Trade account, his brokerage account. So all they could do was watch it go down in value for for no planning. For they no have planning, to, you have to now go to court and get control of that. Yeah. If you have no planning, if you have no planning, I think this is a really important point to make. If you don't do anything in place, you get to go to probate court. If you have no will, and the probate court system will tell you, you have to notify your creditors. Probate is a lawsuit that's paid for with your assets to satisfy your creditors mm -hmm. and your disgruntled heirs, and it just goes to them. And far, far too frequently, people that just get the money outright blow it. You get a rollover in an IRA, it's gone. Eighty some percent I saw is of IRAs are gone within the first year that the kids get it. And and you know that just goes to speak to your point about um, not having talked to someone. Forget no plan. Talk to someone. Have a professional. This is not a shameless plug for Andrew. Uh, nor or Ryan. Or a shameless plug for me. Um, but it typically doesn't cost you anything to meet with Andrew Just or to me. have a conversation. At least right. educate yourself. And that's more important than anything because at least we can stick the pin in the back of your mind. Any qualified professional, whether it's your CPA, your accountant, your bookkeeper, your attorney. Right. Somebody can give you some direction, whether you have seventy million or seventy thousand. Exactly. And what you should be doing. Right. We do it all the time. We know what's going on. We know the ins and outs and how to mold it for you. Do it yourself first. It might work. It might not. I can't tell you it's going to work. I can tell you that my plan. Here's what's going to happen. This is going to be good. I think it's, it's super it's important just to even put minimal. And right. we talked about this before, you and I. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter who you use. And we talked about some of those online things to do yourself, whether it's tax planning or yeah. estate planning or legal yeah, things. Yeah, we said it was a smile on our face. We say, yeah, if you're watching online, there's big smiles. Um, they're not asking you questions. Right. So they, they can't give legal advice. They don't know you. They're just looking for possibly the cheapest, and that's not always the best. Now, Ryan, let's, let's, we need to take a break. Okay. We'll be back with you for one more segment. Andrew Cohen with Ryan Moore. We'll be right back on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS.